Hello everybody, good day to you all today. I am talking about Reverie season number one, episode number seven, The Black Mandela. It's also directed by Daisy Mayer. And here we have um, Mara, who's played by um, Sarah Shahi, trying to help out um, Emmett Elwood, who's played by Ben J. Pierce, with the situation. He has been detained by the government because they believe he's a terrorist. Because a, a bombing happened, and they think he was involved with it. And so they, they have him um, locked away. But not in a special prison. They have him locked away in reverie. Because last time, last previous episode, we, we found out that the government is involved with the reverie and that, 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 they're, that, and that they've been f funding them to keep the company going. Well, now the government is using reverie to torture people and get away with it. Because, see, torturing people is not really a good thing. So we're trying to uh, step away from that. But if they, do, if they do it on reverie, they act like it never happened. Because we didn't we didn't actually really touch them because it's in like a whole computer world. It's in the matrix. It's not really real. So so but so what? The person might go might, might, might become brain dead or vegetable. We never touched them. Not really. Not technically. And since nobody really knew about reverie too much yet, well they can do whatever they want. It's the Wild Wild West. And so you got you got the team finding out that the government using reverie for this. They also gotta prove to them that this boy is innocent. He, 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 had nothing, he, he had nothing to do with the bombing at all. This is a, this is another case of he he um he's from the Middle East, so therefore he has to be a terrorist. And he was at the wrong place. He's at the right place at the wrong time, and, he, and he's the wrong race. So they just assume, well, he's around here. He's on a plane, and so he has he has to be a terrorist. And they they, they can't believe he, he's a refugee trying to run away from this whole war crimes and stuff like that that's going on in this country. That's the reason why he's coming to America to start his life anew, to start a better life. And his father wanted it for him because his, his, his father died and sacrificed for his two sons to have a better life in America. And because of this, one of the brothers gets caught and taken into reverie and pretty much tortured. And it's up to um, um, Mara to help save her. And, and also here, you, 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 certain questions you can answer, like, what happens to you inside the reverie? Does it, does it affect you in the, in the real world, too? So if you get shot in the reverie, does it kill you in the real world? If you get beat up in reverie, do you feel it? Your body internally feels it in, in the real world? Because see, your brain is convinced what's going on It's real. And you have to override that part of your brain to make yourself think that it's fake. So because if, once you start believing that it's not real anymore, the sky's the limit. It's the Matrix now. You can do whatever you want. You can be the one. You can fly. You can make things happen. You can make a dog talk if you want to. But, but you got to convince your brain that it's not real. And you see Amara struggling with that in this episode right here. I mean, this episode pretty much current was talking about what things going on now, which is up to date with terrorism and certain situations that's going on and government involvement and certain th th things that's kind of happening now. And so, so you see that kind of reflected on this episode right here. It's really messed up. I just seen this boy going through this situation, and even worse, that the, um, the government using like a, a computer program to really mess with your, somebody's head, especially this young boy, which could probably damage him the rest of his life. Ugh. And you're also seeing how the, how the other team is dealing with the fact that the, the government is using their devices for something that, for this, I guess you could say, evil purpose. Especially Alexis, who pretty much designed and built Reverie. She's trying to, she's trying to, the thing is though, she, she built Reverie to help people with certain problems and issues and give them like a, a chance to have some, a little bit of a moment of happiness in their lives or help them with a problem that they're facing that they can get through with it through Reverie. That's her plan, but well, things don't always go according to plan. And you've seen how, how certain that started off good can actually can be used for like a lot of bad, bad purposes as well, too. The, th the thing, though, I keep saying this on every episode, I get what they're trying to do with Reverie here. I, get, I really do get it. But it's not really a good idea. It's very, very bad. So far, Reverie only helped uh, one person. And this episode here shows them the evil what they could do with the, the, the messed up stuff they could do with Reverie as well, too. Yes, they could torture this boy. And they could say, we never touched him physically. But in the end, he'll have brain damage. Like, this, I just, I mean, I get the whole idea. I get what you're trying to do. But it's not really a good thing. Because, see, it doesn't really help people face their problems. It helps people avoid their problems. People get stuck into this world because they don't want to leave because, they're, they're, because they're, the real world is so messed up. But the thing is, though, it not only affects them physically, emotionally, and 
and mentally, it also affects people on the outside world watching their, their loved ones slowly dying in front of them because they're too, they're too scared to leave. Or face what's going on in the real world, so they'd rather stay in this fake world. And so now, if the people learn how to become superheroes too and do whatever they want, they'll never leave. They'll never leave. People begin to, this, this thing, good idea, but it's very addictive. Too addictive. And people can't handle it. And it's just, you know, but too, like pleasure is nice, but when you start to begin talking too much, that's when it starts to become a bad thing. I mean, I, I get their attentions and all, but mm, I don't know about this thing. Ugh. Like, some episodes, you, you see it as, okay, I see it helping. But then at the same time, the reason why is they're in the situation for the first place, it becomes a reverie. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Interesting show, though. I think the act, I, I, love, I love those actors involved. I, 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 the concepts they keep coming up with, very interesting, especially this episode right here. But at the same time, the whole program, the whole reverie, the whole Flash Matrix thing is not really good. I mean, even in the Matrix, they, they realized that the computer world wasn't good. Everybody wanted to be free. Oh, well. Either who is an interesting show. I have to check it out for yourself, though. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Reverie. And what do you think? Do you think Reverie is a good idea? Or do you think it's really, really messed up? Leave your comments down below. Well, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big old like, thumbs up, shabam, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would, would appreciate it. And like I always say in my dreams in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.